resistance. Resistance in the sense of resistance is it is it will oppose that flow of the charge. It will oppose that flow of the charge. Then it has sign it is an ohm and will represent the symbol is this ohm. Okay, from Ohm's law, V is equal to I into R, then we can say R is equal to V by R, R is equal to V by R. So we can say that the extent of the resistance is uh, Ohm, then one Ohm is equal to, then one volt per one ampere. So we can say this is the definition of one Ohm, one volt per one ampere, we can call it as the one Ohm. So, what are the factors? It is dependent in the sense, let's see that, it will be, suppose you take a simple circuit, simple in the sense, suppose you take that, between these two points, how you make connection to the cell, and uh, it's a key, and here when the ammeter is connected, then let's see that, here you place it that, then what happens in the sense, you subtract some amount of the, uh, Char charge voltage in this uh, circuit, then what happens in the sense between these two? We can place that micro wire, we can find that uh, how it is uh, uh, reading that current, and instead of that, we can uh, we place that one uh, bulb, electric bulb, we can uh, place. Then, uh, when it is switched on, then how it is glowing once you check it out, when it is uh, how it is reading, and after that, you just take that one touch bulb. Okay, one touch bulb you can take. Then how it is glowing, let's see. Then uh, once find out the reading, which means here micro wire and current bulb and uh, next thing is a torch bulb, which will be the different readings it will be. Why like that it is changing different for different things in the sense? Let's see that here. See our main thing is one one current carrying conductor or the arrangement of these based on that the current will flow. So how the resistance is dependent. These are the factors. What factors it is dependent? Let's see that. If suppose if you take the our micro bar, okay, if you take the two lens, okay, where our length is increasing, there the resistance also will increase. The resistance also will increase. Why in the sense? Suppose if you do this current wire, okay, then uh, cost wires will be fixed in their places. Okay. So here when the electronics want to move to one place to another place, when it is connected to the circuit, then what happens due to that electric force, then it will move. By that force, it will hit this, it will hit the light fans and it will collide and it will lose that energy. It will lose the energy and come into that zero. So when it is colliding with this, then what happens in the sense? Totally, it will lose that energy and it produces some amount of the heat. Again, it will go like this. Here, the same thing it will be collide. How it is gain that again? Same force in the sense due to electric force, it will gain that and it will go again and it will collide with. And like this, wherever the length is increasing in the sense, number of the collisions also will increase, right? So then, where the rest, uh, length is increasing, then uh, resistance also will increase. So we can say directly. Wow. Resistance is directly proportional to the length. Resistance is directly proportional to the length. If suppose if you increase that area, then what happens in the sense it will be inversely proportional to the area. Suppose you have taken that this is one uh, wire, another wire is having that large area compared to that. Now here what happens in the sense by that it is a, uh, like a single ray, but it is a double ray, which means here if it comes out with one electron per unit time, then here it comes with two electrons per unit time, which means same process, but here it is releasing the two electrons, which means it will produce that more current, whereas uh, current is more or less, definitely the resistance will be less, resistance will be less, so that we can say that R is inversely proportional to area of cross section of the current carrying conductor. So that from these two, if you take that, R is directly proportional to L by A. And if you want to remove this uh, proportionality, we need to write one proportional constant that is uh, rho, which means resistivity, and uh, rho into L by A, rho into L by A. So we can say.
So here, what is the resistance? What is the resistivity? Resistance in the sense, it is uh, it will oppose the flow of the charge. Resistivity in the sense, it is the characteristics of the current carrying conductor. Current carrying conductor. Whereas resistance will depends upon the length and unit area. On length it will be directly proportional. On area it is inversely proportional. Coming to the resistivity, it is depends upon only on characteristics, which means it does not depends upon the dimensions, which means on area and length it does not dependent. If it is changed also, resistivity will be the constant. Resistivity will be constant. And whereas resistance and resistivity both will be depends upon nature of the current carrying conductor and the temperature of the current carrying conductor, these two will be de de dependent. And how will you uh, derive that assignment of the resistivity in the sense that let's see that then rho is equal to R A by L then rho is equal to what is the unit of the resistance ohm ohm and area is a meter square by L we can say that L in the sense of meter here square and meter cancel the assignment of resistivity is ohm meter the assignment of the Resistivity is ohm meter. We can tell. Okay. So, if suppose if it is length is one meter and area is one meter square, then what about that resistivity and resistance in the sense it will be that equal resistance and resistivity will be equal. We can say equal. We can say so that these are the things we can learn. We can get from these things from resistance and resistivity. On this, so many problems we can do it. Okay, they will use that length and area and uh, resistance. Suppose they have given like this: uh, resistance is uh, 10 ohm given, and length is uh, 2 meter, and area is uh, 4 meter square. Then they are asking that find out uh, resistivity. They are asking it. Let's find out then. Then we can say that how will you find out in the sense that R is equal to rho into L by A. From that, rho is equal to R into A by L. So we can substitute the values n into what is the area? 4 by length 2, then uh, we can say that 1 to 2 is then uh, 20 ohm meter. Okay, so that generally, for example, it won't be, will be very, very less in the points, it will be that 0 0.000 into 1 like that it will be. For example, I have taken like this. Okay, and next thing is. Combination of the resistors. Combination of the resistors. How you will, you will uh, connect in a uh, circuit combination? Let's take that first uh, combination is series. Okay. Series. Okay. Suppose here we have taken that uh, three resistors. Three resistors. Okay. Given connection to the cell. Even connection to the P and the ammeter. Ammeter always we should give in a series. We should give in series. It is having that zero resistance. Zero resistance. Then only it can able to read the total amount of the current in the circuit. Okay. So here P and the voltage we have given closure of current I and this is the resistance R1, R2, R3. Okay, so voltmeter we should connect that parallelly uh, for resistance. Why in the sense it is having that resistance is uh, uh, more so that we should connect like this. Okay, then only we can read that uh, voltage or else uh, we cannot read. If suppose if you connect like that ammeter, ammeter is having the resistance is zero so that we can uh, read that correct amount of the current how much it is flowing in the circuit whereas voltmeter is having that more resistance if you place in the series it will take that as the amount of the current okay so that if you connect in the parallel then current will pass through that in the same uh, same path it won't come to this side so it will only reach that how much amount of the current is here which means we can say in this series combination of the resistors the current is constant, current is a constant, current is constant and the voltage is changes, voltage will change. Okay, 
so that we can tell that total voltage of the circuit total voltage of the circuit is equal to sum of individual voltage v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay so that from the ohm's law what we know in the sense v is equal to i into r i into r yet that first resistor if you see at that current is i current is i and resistance is r1 then we can say that v1 is equal to i into r1 at v2 is is equal to i into r2 at v3 is equal to i into r is it right if you substitute in this equation then i into r equal in is equal to i into r1 plus i into r2 plus i into r3 okay so that you can come on that i then i into r equal in is equal to i is common then r1 plus r2 plus r3 then i i will get cancelled then r equivalent is equal to r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay so we can say that here the total resistance in the series combination is having the highest more more by in the sense it is added with all the resistance all the resistance it is added so that equivalent resistance will be totally than compared to the any other resistance in the circuit will be more than that greater than that suppose if you take it at r1 r2 r3 someone is having that more resistance among these three than that equivalent resistance will be more equivalent resistance will be more suppose you take it at r1 is equal to 4 ohm and r2 is 3 ohm and r3 is 6 ohm you take it what is the uh, big value in this in this 6 ohm is the biggest value right so that than the 6 the total equal uh, the total resistance will be more how in the sense if we add that 6 plus 3 plus 4 then it will be the 13 13 is bigger than the 6 ohm so we can say that in series combination resistance will be greater value correct so that we can say what is the disadvantage of the series uh, connection in the sense suppose anything is fused or disconnected in the sense the remaining does not work does not work why because it will act as a open circuit then current will stop that flowing in the circuit then it cannot flow into the circuit so it will be broken it is not useful so that is one disadvantage of the series combination let's come into that uh, parallel combination let's see that Current is changes. Okay, so here let's take that 
what we can do in a sense, total current in the circuit, total current in the circuit is equal to sum of individual currents I1 plus I2 plus I3. Okay, from Ohm's law, we know that I is equal to V by R, V by R. At the first one, at first R1 resistance, what is the current in the sense I1, which means what is the voltage V only. At here, I2 also V. I3 also V. Why? Because V is constant value, we can say. So that V by R1 here, at I2, we can say now V by R2, at I3, V by R3. Okay, simply you can substitute in this. Then V by R equal in the is equal to V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. Okay, what we can common in this sense, we can common that V, then V by R equal in is equal to common V, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So that both sides V V will get cancelled. Then we can say that 1 by R equal in is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R. Okay, this is total equivalent uh, equivalent resistance in a parallel combination of the resistors. Okay, if you take here what happens in a sense, it will be that very least resistance, which means very less resistance. So it is there a chance to pass that allow that more amount of the current in a circuit we can say. So let's take that as before we take that from three values we have taken that R1 is 3 ohm, R2 is 4 ohm and R3 is 6 ohm. If you take like this, among this, what is that least value you will tell me? Least value is 3 ohm, right? Among these three, least resistance is 3 value. What is compared to the total equivalent resistance, it will be that least than the least value, which means least is 3, so total equivalent resistance will be least than that. Okay, how in the sense, let's see, 1 by R equivalent. If you take that into LCM, you can say 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by 3 plus, 1 by 4 plus, 1 by 6. Okay, what is the LCM here for uh, uh, this 3, 4, 6? Okay, then if you take the 2, 3 will be 2, 2, 2, 3. Okay, again now uh, 3, 3, 1, 2, 1. Then uh, 2, 3, 6, 3, 6, 2, 12. Then uh, 12. Then uh, 4 plus 3 plus 2, 1 by R equal n. So that we can say 4 plus 3 plus 2 in the sense of 9. Then uh, R equal n is equal to then uh, 12 by 9. 12 by 9. Then we can get that uh, 1 point. One point three we can get it. One point three ohms. See here, least least resistance is how much here? Three ohm. Equivalent resistance is how much we got in parallel connection in the sensor? One point three ohms we got, which means it is least than this least value. That is a uh, one of the advantage of the parallel connection. Another one is suppose if it is there somewhere, anything is disconnected. One thing here, I one is disconnected in the sense I two and I three will uh, work. Uh, normally. Okay. So, if suppose I2 is disconnected or fused, then I1 and I3 will work uh, as usual. So, that is the benefit of this. And next thing is uh, resistance will be very least. Okay. And uh, potential difference is constant. Equally, it will share the potential difference uh, for all the uh, circuits, we can say. So, that is the main thing and uh, uh, benefit of the parallel connection. In home, we will use that uh, parallel connection. How in the sense, uh, for fan one switch we can use, light one switch we can use, TV one switch, which mean individually. Whereas if you see that street lights and uh, function, uh, totally one uh, series of lights it will be, if you switch on that all the lights will glow, which means it is in, connected in series. If it is a uh, middle somewhat, it is disconnected wire in the sense, uh, totally it will stop glowing. Whereas the uh, parallel in the sense, uh, suppose if this fan is not working in the sense, uh, fan only can uh, go to work, remaining the TV and refrigerator and uh, tube light will work normally. That's what uh, differences between a series and parallel we can say.